Hi, everybody. I'm Judy Schwiebert, and I'm one of the co-founders of Theatre Works from way back in the day, 1986. I wasn't able to get out, get out to Theatre Works this week to record this, so we're here in my living room, and I'd like to tell you a story about how it all began. So when David Woe's dynamic music and theater program outgrew Shadow Rock Church, many of us decided that we had to find a way to keep the magic going. Whether we were parents or kids, performers or paperwork pushers, tech set or prop people, we had been changed by the experience of putting on a show together. We'd seen the confidence it gave our kids to stand on a stage and shine. We felt the deep connection our shows created for one another as well as for our audiences. And we felt the sense of fun and meaning it gave us to be part of working together to create something that was greater than ourselves. It felt like making theater and art together made the world a better place for everybody. And we wanted to make sure that other people had the chance to grow and to shine too. So we found a barn at 67th Avenue and Thunderbird and moved in around Thanksgiving time around 1986 and poured our lives into transforming it from a barn to a theater. But first, we had to find someone to guarantee a three-year, $300,000 lease. Well, we looked around and none of us had that kind of money, but the landlord agreed to allow us to split the responsibility 10 ways. So, you know, up to that point, as far as I know, no theater company had been able to last in the West Valley. And if theater works went under, that meant that each family would be on the hook for about $30,000. But you know, we didn't really hesitate. This impossible dream of ours was just going to happen but it took every one of us doing our part, working together to create this theater. We were teachers and engineers, preschool directors, office managers, and insurance agents. And every day after work, we would rush to the theater to build a stage and wings, risers for the audience, and somehow construct a lighting system out of long orange extension cords from Home Depot. That's not to mention, of course, the casting and rehearsing of our first show and building our costumes and set. But we did pause on December 23rd for our first Theater Works family Christmas party. We all brought food to share and sat crammed together on the bare wood risers and we wheeled in the piano to the unfinished stage. David M. Seed, of course, introducing the kids and adults, his Theater Works friends, who sang and danced and performed monologues. We ended the evening as we would every Christmas for years to come with O oh, Holy Night. It was just about a month later, after a lot more hammering, rehearsing, and even a cast member breaking his leg just the week before opening, that we did open our first show, The Unsinkable Molly Brown. You know that feeling at dress rehearsal when you wonder if you can really pull this thing off in front of an audience in less than 24 hours? Well, yeah, there was that. But the next night when the curtain opened, everything fell into place as it does. And the magic truly happened. We could feel it from the stage, the wings, the sound booth, and throughout the building. As the cast took their bows, the audience rose to their feet and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. Our, our impossible dream had become a reality. There's been plenty more work and twists and turns since then, but the magic has continued with every performance. 
And that's because we, and then all of you, have continued to play our parts. I am so proud of this theater that we created and the one that you all have continued to help grow and flourish. Thank you so much to Chris Hamby and Kate Hinkle for your incredible leadership and talent and commitment to theater works in this latest chapter and especially at this time of crisis that all arts organizations are going through as well as so many others. Thank you so much to all of you who have been involved for the life and energy and magic you create in our community with every show. You do indeed make this world a better place for all of us. Finally, a special thank you to Tom Guider and Connie McMillan for your generous, generous leadership and commitment to TheaterWorks. And now for once again, even matching our contributions dollar for dollar, because it is going to take all of us to weather this challenging time together. So thank you once again in advance as we all donate every one of us with whatever we can and play our parts to keep the magic going and our impossible dream of theater works alive and thriving.